Hey everybody, it's Paul from Two Bears Homestead. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, we would love it if you subscribed and followed us on our journey, because what we're doing is we're documenting things that we're doing, things that we're learning, steps that we're taking to achieve the ultimate goal of homesteading in another state. Currently in Florida, but we really want to be you know, up and out and, you know, up into like the Carolina or something like that. So you'll see that in other videos once you subscribe and follow. So what I'm doing today is making or canning a turkey soup. We cooked turkey a couple days ago and um, I needed to make room in my freezer because I have a whole cow, not, I don't have a whole cow coming. I ordered a whole cow, but I'm only getting a quarter of it. I went in on it with three other people and it's going to be a lot of meat. So I absolutely need to get some food out of that freezer. So. I have a couple of things lined up that I need to cook, you know, in the, in the next couple of days or so. <clears throat> Still getting over that cold, you know, or that flu that I had, so I'm a little, you know, congested, so please bear with me. So I'm following this recipe and it's going to be out of the ball book of home preservation. Um, ignore the sticker, that's just, I don't know, something for a doctor I had or something, I don't know. But it's um, out of this book. I'm following the recipe exactly um, in terms of the base part of it. You can add things to um, the soups when you can, but not fresh ingredients. So if I want to change some of the seasoning and the dry stuff, we can do that. And I am going to do that. And I'll show you what we're doing. But it's a little bit of an experiment because I want something just different than the basic turkey soup. Although we're going to be basic turkey soup here, I'm only going to be doing it in pints because I want to be able to have the flexibility of just grabbing a jar for lunch for one person or taking it to work because we're both still very busy. And I want to make sure simplifies that part of life a little bit. So um, here we go, turkey soup, and it's going to be delicious, I hope. Okay, so the recipe calls for one and a half cups of chopped celery. So I'm doing it here in a medium chunk. I think it just holds up a little bit better in canning. And then we also need one and a half cups of chopped carrots as well. Again, I'm going for more of a medium chunk here. We also need one cup of chopped onions. I'm gonna be doing a heaping cup, I'm not gonna lie, I like onion. And then we go ahead and put those ingredients aside because we need to pull the turkey out of the refrigerator that we picked off the bones. And so we're gonna go ahead and cut that meat up into the white meat into larger chunks because I think it'll hold up better in the canning process. And also we have dark meat, so I'm just giving that a rough chop as well. And um, I think it's gonna be a great flavor profile to be honest with you. So the recipe calls for about three cups of turkey. So um, I'll have a little bit more than that. So the broth is already on the stove hot. That's from the carcass of the turkey that we just you know I just chopped the meat up for so don't be like Paul and cutting or splashing the turkey you know the broth on you as you're putting the vegetable then I, I can't believe myself so go ahead and add your turkey again that's a little bit more than three cups I, but I think it's gonna be fine I think the ratio will work out well and go ahead and get that in and give it a stir we need to bring this up to a low boil and it needs to low boil for 30 minutes that's exactly what the recipe calls for so that's what we're gonna do so um, it smells amazing. So we are going to be adding an eighth of a teaspoon of poultry seasoning to each jar. I like the poultry seasoning, so that's what we're gonna use. And then I'm also gonna throw in a couple of peppercorns to each jar as well. I like pepper, I like peppercorn. And I know that I'm supposed to get eight jars and I think I'm gonna get it. So four of the jars I'm gonna be adding a slice of dehydrated lemon to. Um, look, those look beautiful. And I'm gonna be adding them um, to four of the jars alongside a couple of pieces of dehydrated ginger. I dehydrated both of this stuff, um, you know, a couple of weeks before this video. So I'm, an I'm anticipating a great flavor profile there. And I already have my lids marked for the four jars that are gonna be the, you know, the experimental jars because no surprises coming out of the canner. So the soup is done, so I'm getting my hot jars out and I'm adding the spices to it. You know, again, an eighth of a teaspoon and then a few peppercorn. I wanna take a moment here to point out that I keep saying it's a turkey soup recipe in the ball book, but it's actually a chicken soup recipe. It's the same thing. So uh, the processes are the same. So I wanted to just make that clear while I had the chance. So at this point, I'm separating out the jars that are gonna be the four with the lemon and the ginger and I'm adding the ginger to the bottom of the jar. This is where I should have added the lemon to the bottom of the jar. You'll see why because it just floated and you know I really wanted it to be in the bottom of the jar so we're going to take this time now and we're going to do evenly distribute the, the hot uh, chunks if you will or the or the solids to each jar you want to get an even distribution across all the jars and then go ahead and top off with your broth so um, yeah, if I could tell you how good this smells uh, yeah, I, I think you would I don't even think you'd believe me at this point so go ahead and get your um, 
you know, your soup distributed and then go ahead and debubble each jar. Um, I'm using a plastic knife. I just, just like it better than using the, you know, anything else. And then go ahead and top off your liquid to one inch headspace and then that's it. Um, here I'm adding those lemons. You see how they just float? You know, hindsight's a beautiful thing. I'm taking the uh, paper towel with vinegar on it and I'm wiping each jar. I actually did it twice, but I just one time in the video is enough. And I want to make sure those rims are as clean as possible. Then I go ahead and I add my flats to the jars and then go ahead and add on the ring. One of the most important things to remember when you're putting your rings on is to not over tighten it. You want it fingertip tight. Most important thing. And then you go ahead and start loading up your canner. I'm on the second level here and um, I actually got almost a full load so the jars are in there snugly but I had one open spot left on the top so I went ahead and I added a jar of hot water to it. I'd like it to be stable. I think it's just better. Lock that bad boy up and get it turned on and then once you uh, see steam venting solid like this go ahead and set your timer for 10 minutes for your venting and you know, there we go, 10 minutes, get it. And then once it's done venting, go ahead and add your, once the 10 minutes is up, go ahead and add your uh, weighting gauge for 10 pounds. And you know, in just a matter of a minute or two, uh, it should start you know, jiggling just like this. Let's also double check your gauge and make sure it's at least 11 PSI. Then go ahead and set your timer for pints. It's 75 minutes. I add a bonus minute on there. And all a bear has to do now is just wait. And that's what we're going to do. So once the uh, canner is down to zero pressure and uh, plus a few minutes, I have jars pulled out. Um, I canned up the extra broth with this stuff, so the broth was processed at the 75 minutes. So I got my eight jars at the yield, and then of course the six extra jars of broth. So it looks beautiful, and I'm very happy with it. And what I also do is I throw a towel over it because I have an air vent nearby, and I just didn't want that cold air. So um, that's it. Hey everybody, it is the next day and we were working out in the yard doing some things. So we are testing the, the test soup, the lemon ginger, and we are, I already have it heated up, we have a couple of bowls, and I put a little bit of salt in it as I was cooking it, because I know I didn't add salt when I was canning, and I have minimal salt when we did the, um, when I made the bone broth. So here we go, let's give it a little taste, see what you think. Still need more salt. Very lemony though. Do you like it here? Or? No, I like the lemon. Now remember, we're doing this straight out of the jar. We didn't add any other broth to it. We didn't add any um, any rice or pasta or anything. This is just straight out of the jar. So this is like undoctored. But um, I like it. Let me taste it. Yeah. Wait, yeah. hmm. salt. I can I, I can taste the ginger and the lemon. But yeah, it's good. Right. So, I think it'd be really cool because I, in the, in the canning process, I had extra broth left over from the soup, so it kind of the ratio got off. So I have some extra um, of sauce. So I also made some of the lemon ginger um, on a sauce, but I have extra of the lemon ginger broth, if you will. So you know, I can take that and add that to the jar. Then you can top through that up and maybe add, you know, some potatoes or carrots or whatever you have on hand. I have jarred carrots on hand. We can add that to it. So I think it's um, I think it's gonna be a win. I mean, I have two more turkeys in the freezer, so I gotta take care of those turkeys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, cause what do we have coming? We have got beef coming. We got so, um, quarter so, of a cow. Quarter. Yeah. Quarter. Yeah. Quarter, yeah. Yeah. Know, quarter of a cow is enough for us. So that's it. I think it's a it's a win for us. Um, I will probably not do the lemon ginger very often it is very taste specific but i do i do like it and i think it's something like you know we can take a jar of the of the um soup to work yeah and that up um you know um what do you, think? you think you would take it to work yeah if i remember to yes i'll take it to work <laughs> if you remember that's the key word right there so all right so um i think that's gonna cover it for today so basically to recap what we got was i got uh seven eight jars of the soup. I did uh, four and four. And then I got um, like six jars. I'm sorry, one, two, three. Yeah, uh, six jars left over of the broth. So that's a pretty good yield. Um, the recipe, you know, you know, out of the ball blue book did say that you're going to get the eight jars. So I'm happy with that. 
And uh, that's it. So on to the next one. Uh, there's a couple more videos coming out. Uh, we did a couple of things in the yard today, so uh, we'll bring you along on that journey. So hit like and subscribe, and uh, you know, come join the party and follow us. Anything you want to say? Thumbs up. We're all good. <laughs> Thumbs up. We're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.